So there you go. That wasn't too hard to admit, was it? Are you kidding me? I've been bored out of my mind. Damn right I am. Let's move. Oh, I see. That's how you're going to play it. Finally came to your senses, huh? I knew you couldn't live without me. Well, that makes me feel wanted. Thanks. And you won't take me with you? <laughs> well, thanks a lot, partner. I'll head for home then. Good luck. Will do. I'm on it, Captain. Yep, I've got it. No problem. I'll get it done. I'd say we're making a heck of a team right now. When it comes down to it, I like having you in my corner. Let's try and keep it that way. We're doing pretty good. Starting to see eye to eye on a lot of things. Hope it lasts. I plan on walking this earth with you until the day I die. I give you enough of a clue? Having you this close to me has made me happier than I've ever been before. You already know things are the best they've ever been between us. The day you told me that you loved me was the greatest day of my life. With you at my side, I feel like I can take on the world. There's no bond stronger than that. Yeah, I feel like I've made the right choice sticking with you. I like the way you've been handling things lately. Let's hope it stays that way. Are you freaking kidding me? That's the stupidest thing you've ever asked. Oh, so now you suddenly care how I feel. It's a little late for that, don't you think? Stop pretending you care. It's insulting my intelligence. You trying to piss me off? Because you're doing a hell of a job by asking me that. Yeah, I, I can't believe you have the nerve to even ask me that right now. You know, maybe we should talk about something else. You saved my son's life. And that makes us pretty damn close in my book. I'd say putting that cure for Duncan's disease in my hands pretty much guarantees that I'll be your friend for life. We're doing great. Heck, I'd say we're best friends. I couldn't ask for anyone better to watch my back. And trust like that doesn't come easy. I could never ask for a better partner. Or a better friend than you. Well, if you think that's best, I suppose it's okay. Just be careful. I don't think I could stand losing someone I care about for the second time. All right, I uh, guess I'll head back and wait for you. Just be careful. The Commonwealth isn't the safest place to wander alone. Okay, uh, I'll head back and wait for you. Take care of yourself. I think you're making a huge mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. I'm getting sick of my company, huh? Harsh. I'll see you later. To be honest, I'm kind of ticked off with you right now. Why do you care? Seems like you're doing everything you can to make me angry. I don't discuss relationships with my partners. I like to keep things professional. You have to ask, huh? Well, I got news for you. Things could be a lot better. Oh, now it's important to you. Since when did you start caring? What the heck do you want? What are you bothering me about now? This better be good. What's on your mind? Yeah? What's up? What do you want? You need to talk? Hey, is something the matter? If you need something, just say the word. If you want to talk, I'm here for you. If something's on your mind, I'd love to hear about it. Well, hello, handsome. So far, there's nothing to complain about. Nothing to get excited about, either. Well, partnering up with you sure beats drinking myself blind and good neighbor. I don't know. I haven't killed you yet. <laughs> that good enough? I think we'd get along better if you started listening to me once in a while. What the heck is your problem now? What's so important? Yeah? What do you want? Yeah, what? You need something in particular, or are you just bored? It's going to take long. Well, what is it now? Need something? You wanted to ask me something? Anything wrong? What's the matter? Can I help? Is something bothering you? I sure hope nothing's wrong. Always up for a little chat. Anything you need? Just ask, and I'll try to help. Well, hello, beautiful. I don't really know how we're doing. I guess I need more time to decide. That's the best idea you've ever had. See you around. Maybe. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm reaching that. Are you kidding? I can't get to that. That's impossible to reach. I'm not a magician, you know? If you can find a way to get to that, then you better show me. Forget it. There's no way to get there. Can we hurry this up? I'd like to leave before I grow a second head. I'm betting this lovely little vacation spot would give even a super mutant a sunburn. I think when I've been telling people to go to hell, they must have ended up here. Okay, if my hair starts falling out, I'm sending you the bill. Time to split up the loot? Yeah, sure. I'll trade with you. Let's see what you got. Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. Commonwealth Savings Bank of McCready, open for business. All right. Hey, I, uh, think you got a little bit of brain cut in your teeth. Ooh. Okay, well, 
That's just about the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, tuck in. Don't mind me. Look, lady, if you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Tough break. If your luck changes, I'll be here. Until then, adios. Unless a check is how you say 250 caps around your neck of the woods. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Maybe next time. Suit yourself. I guess this is goodbye, then. When you come to your senses, I'll be here. Well, I'm not making more than that sitting here and getting drunk. You've got a deal. Sorry. I don't do charity work. Come back when you've got the caps, and maybe we can make a deal. The Commonwealth's got the Capital Wasteland B. That's for sure. Cocked, locked, and ready to rock, boss. This sure beats hanging with the gunners. Raking in the caps. Don't get much better than this. Brothers gotta stick together, you know? Gotta tell you, I'm getting pretty sick of this gig. Yeah, yeah, more bright ideas from the Brain Trust. This isn't a Merc outfit. It's like being back in the Scouts. That bar and Good Neighbor's starting to look good again. Let's get this show on the road. Standing here talking ain't making us any caps, you know. Man, I could use a cigarette. This beat's sitting around and drinking myself to death. I'll be damned. You found a transmitter. Gotta say, I didn't expect it to come through. Could still use that transmitter if you find it, boss. The first thing I'm gonna need is a military-grade transmitter. We've got some contacts out there that'll join us. I just need to give the word. Can you handle that? Still waiting on that transmitter. Without it, we're dead in the water. Still waiting on that transmitter. Quit taking your sweet time. So this is it? What a dump. You gonna take that risk? If she's really a synth... A little pick-me-up, eh? Careful with that stuff. Chems are just gonna drag you down. Well, they're not gonna need that stuff anymore. We're splitting all that, right? <clears throat> I hate getting wet. Something tells me this isn't the best idea you've ever had. Last time I checked, we weren't a couple of Meyer lurks. Clever. Maybe you can do that for mine. Hey, if they cared about it, they wouldn't have left it laying around. First it was theirs, now it's ours. Nice work. Now, let's get out of here. That leg's looking pretty beat up. That leg's going to slow us down. Nice limp you've got there. A few more caps never hurts. Oh, come on. They can do better. Don't tell me that's all you're going to ask for. Might want to take a stim pack for that arm. Uh, should your arm be crooked like that? Hope that wasn't your shooting hand. Sheesh. Bet your head's ringing. You want to sit down or something? That head wound looks painful. If you apply pressure, it might stop the bleeding. You've got to be kidding me. That can't be real. No way. Holy sh- We're rich! Wait, don't we need that? Might want to pick that back up. So now you're just throwing stuff away. Find anything useful on them? That should keep you alive a bit longer. You make that look easy. Uh, uh. Find anything useful, or are you just wasting our time again? Always thought those computers were a waste of time. Hey, quit firing before you shoot something you'll regret. What the hell are you shooting at? You crazy? Quit firing your weapon like that. Pretty slick. That's for both of us, right? That old stuff worth anything? When did you start collecting antiques? I'm guessing that reminds you of the old days. Oh man, I hate going up in these things. Going for a little joyride, huh? Time to travel in style. Oh great, now you're hooked on that crap. I told you that crap would rot your mind. Why'd you have to go and get hooked on that garbage? You're just slowing us down. They're holding out. What's the point of picking up that junk? Oh, come on, just leave it. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Damn, you're not fooling around, are you? Time to kick some ass. Remind me not to mess with you when you're in that thing. If you're trying to impress me, it's not going to work. Oh, God, put some clothes on, will ya? If you're gonna walk around naked all the time, we need to talk. This is my favorite part of the job. Oh, man. I love the sound a pile of caps makes. This almost made the whole job worthwhile. The only thing better than getting a bunch of caps is spending a bunch of caps. Cha-ching! I hope we're busting into this place for a good reason. Doing a little bit of breaking and entering now, eh? You're full of surprises, aren't you? Down the hatch. Wow, <laughs> you must be pretty thirsty. Hope you have enough of that to go around. I'm building something useful, I hope. I've never been the hammer and nails sort of guy. You're making that look easy. Oh man, I love comics. I used to collect comics like that when I was a kid. You going to read that now? Some skill you have there. Looks like you've done that a few times. Cute trick. You should teach me that sometime. Nice job. But can you do a blindfolded? You've unwrapped the present. Let's see what's inside. What, are you crazy? That was reckless. 
The hell was that for? Well, that was pretty big of you. <laughs> I wouldn't have bothered. Hey, it's your loot. You do what you want with it. That person was pretty lucky to bump into you. Nice job, Leadfoot. Why don't you look where you're going? Did you have to step on that? Shh. <laughs> Might be more of those around. You're looking pretty sick. Might want to pop some rat away. Might want to find a doctor soon for that rat sickness. Get any sicker and you're going to turn ghoul on us. What the hell? Why did you do that? The hell's the matter with you? Hope you're proud of yourself. You just killed someone in cold blood. You really care about that little guy. Hope he's feeling better. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you. Dog meat's down. Poor mutt. Hey, your dog's bleeding pretty bad. You better check dog meat. He's in bad shape. Get anything worth talking about? Now that's what I call sleight of hand. Hey, they didn't need that anyway. Uh, should that thing on your wrist be clicking that much? We're not going to last long in all this radiation. Maybe it'd be better if we moved out of the radiation. Rads are making me feel sick to my stomach. You want to start glowing or something? There's nothing wrong with a little extra firepower. Now that's some impressive craftsmanship. Planning on putting down a few death claws with that? Whew, that's better. Needed that, thanks. That'll help me shake it off. Winged me. Can't take much more. Playtime's over. I'm all over this. They're here, over here. Oh, no, you don't. Not this time. Damn. And I was just starting to have fun. That's how we do things around here. Now that's what I call a confirmed kill. What a waste of time. Okay, that looked like it hurt. Impressed yet? Chalk up another kill for me. That all you got? Last mistake you'll ever make. That wasn't even worth wasting my bullets. Now that's how you get things done. Sending them a message, eh? I like your style. When they push, you push back. Words to live by. Uh, arms bleeding pretty bad. Goddamn arms hit! There goes my gun arm! Damn! Uh, legs hit bad! Uh, shot my knee out! Legs bleeding bad! Uh, my head! Ears ringing! Help! I'm blind! Uh, guts spilling out! Bleeding badly over here! Can't breathe! Uh, 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 uh. Not a problem. Later then. That's it? Done then? Okay, good to go. Could have sworn. Great, now I'm imagining things. Huh. Gone now, I guess. Wasting my goddamn time. Maybe it was nothing after all. Over there! Get him! You slippery little! Haven't had enough? Back for more? Hey, over there! Bring in the pain! This won't take long. Bring it on! Oh, <laughs> big mistake! Opening fire! Let's get it on! Take him down! Time to die! Trash him! Frag him! Squash him! Blow fly! Bring it down! Assault Tron! Take cover! Damn freak bot! Blood bug! Watch your spit! Ugh. Nasty insect! Kill it like you mean it! Gonna rip those claws off you with my bare hands! Oh, come on! We're fighting one of these? Four! Feral over here! Oh, shut up! No! Please! No! Oh, come on! You let them get away with that? Uh-uh. Never. Bring it on! Get away from me! Gonna smash your head in! <sighs> I'm gonna send you to hell! No way. Forget it. No. Uh-uh. I hope they never come back. Good riddance. They're gone. For now. Duck and cover! Watch out! Uh, hit pretty bad. Can't take much more of this. Bleeding. Can't hold out. Find them! Find them! The hell are they? What do you want? Need something? What's up? Yeah, what is it? Well? Goddamn mole rats! Gonna mount you on a stick! Pile of junk! Melt the son of a gun! Sentry bot, give him hell! Anyone have a fly swatter? Shoot it out of the sky! Behemoth, take it down! Wow, you're a goddamn pushover, aren't you? What the hell? That's it? Go to the road. Every man for himself. Good job. Nice. That'll show him. I like how you handled that. That's not going to happen. Care to try again? Hell no. Are you crazy? You're messing with the best. You picked the wrong day to piss me off. This shouldn't take long. Save me some trouble and give up already. Gonna break every bone in your body. I'll make this quick. This is a joke. You're wasting my time. Heck no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Disappearing? Are you serious? Oh, come on. Hey, the hell was that? Got a damn magician over here. What a letdown. The hell did they go? Heads up. Here it comes! 
I have something for you. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Safety off. I think we have company. Shh. I swear I heard something. Pretty sure we're not alone. You hear that? I don't know where they are. Can't find them. Damn it! I got nothing over here. Easy. All right. Sure, no sweat. Yep, you got it. I'll take care of it. Shoot out its jet! Come on, you floating junk pile! Mirelurk, take it out! Shoot for its head! Time for some regicide! Heads up, Mirelurk King! Squash it! Ugh, red roaches. Watch the stinger! Red scorpion! You damn freak! These things are disgusting! Shoot out the treads! Keep it at long range! Here comes big, dumb, and ugly! Gonna drop you, green boy! Institute toasters! Since! Blow him back to hell! It wasn't so bad. It's not like I was alone. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass... Ugh. I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. No, not really, but... Good neighbor was a good place to look for work, but a crappy place to hang your hat. Well, at least I wasn't alone. Truth is, I haven't been able to rely on anyone since I was a kid. Everyone I've met has either tried to rip me off or plant a knife in my back. But you, you're different. We see eye to eye on almost everything. And I have a funny feeling you actually care about what happens to me. That's why I asked for your help. I'm not trying to gouge you for more caps. Everyone pulled their own weight. Just like a colony you'd find anywhere. We all had our designated jobs and we washed each other's backs. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. And <laughs> you're better off for it. Trust me. Not yet. Just call it a friendly warning. Of course something's wrong. How can you pretend to not notice? All right, suit yourself. It's not like I have anything else to do. If there was, I would have done it already. And to be honest, even if they took the money, there's no guarantee they wouldn't change their minds later. Then I'd be completely broke and on the run. That's all I'm asking. I don't know. Looking back on the whole thing, I think we were just lucky. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless, maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Before you get that look on your face, let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. Easy for you to say. But right now, I need every cap I can get. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. Can't even look me in the eye and give me a straight answer. <sighs> yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I'm right there with you. No problem. Wasn't really important anyway. Maybe that's why I feel so comfortable telling you all this. I... well, I... I never thought of it that way. Good. Because I want to clear this up before it gets out of hand. Well, yeah. I think it is. Oh, I see. All I'm good for is hauling your crap. Well, guess what, Chief? Your way is going to have every paid gun in the Commonwealth after us. You really want that kind of heat? Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but having adults around was something we couldn't trust. Wow, I don't know what to say. You're goddamn right they are. Right now, I need every cap I can get. If things keep going the way they're going, maybe I will. Fine by me. If it was that simple, I would have done it already. Yeah, I thought you might be. Interesting or not, I felt like you deserved to know who you were traveling with. All right, but that doesn't mean I'm going to forget about it. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was ten and never looked back. Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, 
Why take chances, right? Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna make this easy on you. If you feel like helping me with this, head over to the Mass Pike Interchange and we'll take them down. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. It's nice to know that you care. I guess you could say that. I was born there. Nothing to love more than being ignored. Fine. I'm not making any caps waiting here. Don't apologize, just take it easy. If I didn't think you could handle it, I wouldn't have asked. They might make little sense to you, but right now, I need every cap I can get. Nothing makes sense anymore. You just roll with the punches. Eh, suit yourself. I'm not trying to run your life. You can do whatever the hell you want. I'm just saying, if you're going down the road to Crazy Town, I'm not going with you. Then stop acting like you don't. Well, I would prefer sticking with you, but it's your choice, I guess. Well, it might be, but even if I round up enough caps, I'm not sure how I'm going to pull it off. Well, I still felt like you deserved to hear it. Look, I'm tired of talking about this, so I'll just lay it on the line. If you want me to stick around, you better wake up. It's time you started realizing that this little partnership is a two-way street. Good. I just wanted to clear something up before it gets out of hand. I'm not trying to gouge you for extra caps if that's what you're thinking. I just thought you deserved to know a little more about me. You sure you want to do this? I don't have much of a choice. Never knew my parents. I'll calm down if you're willing to listen to reason. We still need to talk about what you did. Come on, quit avoiding it. We need to talk about what you did. Right now. So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. Nice to be on the open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out its welcome. Nice to be on the open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out its welcome. You ready to have that talk yet? Hold up. There's something we need to talk about. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Quit worrying, Codsworth. You're going to blow a fuse or something. Still wasting your time trying to save the world, huh, Garvey? Yeah. Sorry, Dance. I couldn't hear you over all that clanking. For you, Kate, I'd do anything. If we want to stay at the top of our game, we need every bit of loot we can get our hands on. If that means often a few innocents along the way, then so be it. At the same time, I don't want to be known as the mass murderer of the Commonwealth. A title like that tends to bring too much heat. So, I guess all I'm asking is that you watch the body count. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. About time. I was getting bored. Yeah, I figured this might throw you for a loop. I needed somewhere to hang out so that people could find me when they required my services. The folks in Good Neighbor tended to not ask too many questions, which suited my needs. So, I made a deal with Hancock and started waiting for the caps to roll in. You're right. I am a mercenary. Which means I get paid to kill. I don't go on massive murdering sprees to satisfy some kind of weird bloodlust. See the difference? Maybe, but I kept the colony alive for a couple hundred years. I don't know what the hell's gotten into you lately. Everything you've been doing, every decision you make seems like exactly the opposite of how I do it. It's almost like you wish I wasn't around. Is that what you want? Now, I never said I was in charge, but damn. If you didn't want my help or advice, why did you hire me in the first place? Rough? That's putting it mildly. I'll head home and wait for you there. Be careful. If something happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. I'll head back and wait for you. Take care of yourself. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. I think you're making a big mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. See you around, maybe. I'm not sure. Honestly, that's not even what concerns me the most. I'm wondering how I'm going to pull it off. Well, you've earned it. Ridiculous. Now they're just walking all over you. You were way too easy on them. Are you serious? That's it? <laughs> You're more tolerant than I would have been. Better be important. I'm guessing this will piss me off, but go ahead. Want to chat for a bit? You look like you have something on your mind. Hey, how's it going? Yeah? Need something? Hey, if you need something, I'm all over it. Oh, come on. You've got skills. I'm sure you know talent when you see it. Is everything all right? Time to talk? Great. If something's on your mind, just let me know. What's happening, knockout? What's happening, cowboy? What's going on? What's up? What? Spill it. What's so important? The hell is it now? Yeah? What? This is gonna be good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm gonna be straight with you. It's those two asshole- <clears throat> Those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. And they've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. Let's put it this way. Can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. 
Still, it was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. Our unique skills are certainly worth the extra caps. Don't let them off cheap. That's a pretty decent payout for two contract hits. Is this going to be one of those tricks where they make you moo like a Brahmin? Make it 71.29 so we can buy some extra drinks later. Come on, we got a job to finish. Just get it done so we can all get out of here. There's no reason to apologize. They should be glad we were here. Couldn't have said that better myself. Of course he does. Shouldn't everyone? I mean, how do you know they aren't? This is hopeless. Oh, darn. Look at the time. You go ahead and build. I got uh, stuff to do. Yeah, right, buddy. You know where you can shove that pillar. Yeah, what's the job? It'll help me take my mind off all the alien crap this guy's talking about. Caps or not, this is not going to end well. I think you made the right choice. Now we've got allies watching our back. <sighs> what a waste of good caps. And a good fight. She's one of the reasons why this is such a great place to lie low. Yeah, I don't see the point. You're sitting on the Commonwealth's most obvious target. Frankly, I could care less about the synths. They sure don't care about us. Good call. Best to step out of the way. Fine, fine. Now let's get moving before the Brotherhood finds us. You should have offered more, lady. Oh well, too late. Or, more to the point, is there anyone that likes you? Yeah, that about says it all. I had one of those once, after I ate a bad batch of cram. Spent eight hours in the can. Shiver me timbers! Let me run a shot across their bow! <laughs> is this for real? Yeah, we got plenty of trouble on our plate already. Maybe they'd rather spend the last few seconds of their lives with a gaping hole in their chest. All right, Grandma. Put up or shut up. Well, that's one way to handle it. If I was in your shoes, I'd do it. But this is your show. Hey, you already have me as a follower. Look at what you're doing already. Look, d don't make fun of this stuff. You never know. Are you kidding? Raiders are a joke. We're not bluffing. Oh, come on. After all we went through, you're just giving it away? Damn it. I hate waiting. Blah, blah, blah. Like, why are you even talking to these morons? Sure, whatever. Better you than me. Aw, oh, come on. Don't let her off the hook like that. I hope I never have to experience that feeling. Anyone have any popcorn? I'm gonna enjoy the show. You called that cautious? She's lucky she didn't start a full-on firefight. Yar, matey, hoist the sail, way anchor. <laughs> Is this for real? Well, that's the last we're going to see of Mr. Dalton there. Way to get rid of him. Come on, Tom. Keep it together. We need you on this one. Want to go it alone? All right. I just hope we've got enough firepower between the two of us to get the job done. Nice one! I'm right there with you, boss. Lead the way. Who cares if we come in from the side, from the front, from the sky? Let's just get in there and blow them away. Maybe Preston was making a point. I'd like to avoid this old biddy at all costs. Good. Last time I got in the middle of one of these situations and ended up with two people dead. I guess we know our next stop. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before I get that image out of my head. We're not going to earn a good reputation in the Merc trade if we keep passing up contracts like this. Look, I know I talk a lot of crap, but this alien stuff kind of freaks me out. Whoa! You might have some mercenary in your blood after all. Screw them. Let's just do the job. If they want to gun each other down, let them do it. Who cares? Shooting doesn't seem like your best option here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. This guy's weird. Jazz is all right, but nothing beats good old-fashioned rock and roll. Addicted to Nuka-Cola? <laughs> now I've heard it all. Yeah, I think he's getting the message. Well, that was charming. What's gotten into you? We're not going to wheel and deal with you. Take the damn off or we drop you. Well, I was hoping for a fight, but I wouldn't mind walking away with the caps instead. Let's parlay with them, cotton. Yo-ho-ho! -ho. <laughs> Is this for real? Well, you're letting them off pretty easy. You're siding with that robot? Did you hit your head on the way down here? Oh, this should be good. Nice work. So, are we, uh, done here? Oh, shut up! This has to be a joke. Tell me this is a joke. Judges and juries are a thing of the past. Swift justice is the only way to solve the problems ruining our world. If you want to fight them instead, I've got your back. Machines, humans, I don't care what you think they are. If I'm paid to kill them, they're going down. 
Give a word, Cap'n, and I'll send them to Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> uh, is this for real? Just leave her. We have to go, now. When I need help, I usually keep my guns lowered. Tends to get a better response. You know what? That wasn't half bad. Yeah, uh, I don't think she's gonna make it. If my boss says you're out of business, then I'm taking you down. Yeah, that ship is basically the last train to Crazy Town. KG? Hell, that was downright hostile. These are human beings. Why would you even think about helping an insane robot instead? Holy crap. That guy went down like a sack of potatoes. I guess we have to let her go. Uh, yeah. We're coming for you. I don't know. I'm kind of having fun watching them scurry around like a bunch of amusement park pirate bots. Come on, Doc. Think what you're up against. Son of a... It's the goddamn Brotherhood of Steel. What the hell are they doing here? Losing family's never easy, but you'll pull through. Hang in there, buddy. There better be some gold at the end of this rainbow if you catch my meaning. Yeah, sorry, kid. No excess baggage in this flight. I don't care if you're metal or flesh. No one should split apart your family. Makes sense to me. I mean, someone has to program these things. Oh, God. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Neutralize the perimeter guard? Who the hell talks like that? Robots working on a farm, huh? <laughs> now I've seen it all. Let's just drop this guy and be done with it. Oh, God. I think I'm going to be sick. And a lot easier than depending on a code that might not even work. Or well, we could kill them and take the loot anyway. I'm just saying. Sounds like it's go time. Yeah. <sighs> what the hell with all this code nonsense? Let's just take it down the old-fashioned way. I thought that guy would never shut up. At least we'll all walk away in one piece, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> Every single time it's calling you darling, it gives me the creeps. Wow, <sighs> I could really use a drink. No, 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 no. Insane would be asking for a double. We'll start with some Nuka-Cola Quantum, add some vodka, whiskey, and gin. Shake it and finish with a splash of Rad Scorpion Venom. <sighs> Another robot drink, Fender? I hope this one doesn't just sell noodles. <sighs> doesn't anyone program normal robot bartenders anymore? Tell you what, I'll make it up to you. Just, uh, just give me some time. All right, uh, let me do all the talking in here. I never get tired of coming to the tap house. Yeah, yeah. You're all hard, Whitechapel. Son of a... Is that Joe Savoldi? Oh, have you ever had this guy's noodles? They're amazing. Hey there, you happen to know how to make a dirty warhead? Yeah, 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 that's the stuff. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind, Joe. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, uh, if we're stopping here, let's, uh, let's make it quick, okay? <laughs> Come on, Wellingham. You remember my usual, don't you? Hey, when you bore him as well as you do, I don't need to try something new. Oh, man, I love this place. Vadim is a character. Thanks. You're always a real stand-up kind of guy, Vadim. L let's drink. Whitey, how are you? Hey, Wellingham. How are you, buddy? What's up, Taka? They set me up with some of your Shima, uh, Shima Changa, or whatever they're called. And? You're damn right I'll take two servings. Come on, give me a break. And how was I supposed to know that the dealer buried his caps? I mean, who the hell does that? Hey there. What's on the menu? No. She didn't make it, Vadim. <laughs> oh, hey there, Henry. Joe, how the heck are you? Vadim, still killing people with your moonshine? Nah, I quit doing that a long time ago. I never paid enough, and I hated being a sitting duck. Yep. A hundred caps, right? Got it all right here. Breathtaking. Now, can we get a move on before the Brotherhood decides they want to use us for target practice again? Man, oh man. This is gonna be fun. Well, at least we're starting at the top. Well, let's all give them a nice, warm welcome. Yeah, these Brotherhood guys are pretty resourceful. Yeah, <sighs> Nothing says welcome like the stench of urine-soaked garbage. I haven't been to Diamond City in years, but I'll tell you, nothing's changed. Damn raiders. Ruined a perfectly good cage-fighting arena. What's the world coming to, anyway? Whew. That thing's going down faster than I thought. Nice shooting. Yeah, I never liked that guy. There was always something a little bit off about him. You let him go after all that? I'd have put a bullet in his head the moment I had the chance. Well, that solves that problem. <laughs> At least we didn't let him walk. Unless you want to crawl across the Commonwealth, you should dump some stuff you're carrying. We're going to be moving way too slow unless you lighten your load. You might want to put some of that junk down. 
How much more crap are you going to carry? If you want to carry all that stuff, at least let me carry some of it for you. Whoa. Did you catch that? What was it? Wow. That sounded like quite a crash. Maybe we should head over there and check it out. I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. That cure better be here. It's the only chance Duncan has left. Now, all I need to do is to get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Thanks. You're a doll. <laughs> How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through medtech. I wonder what kind of sick experiments medtech was doing in here. This place is pretty big. Being in the drug business must have paid well. With all the radiation leaks and ferals in here, we're lucky we haven't started glowing. I wouldn't be surprised if MedTech leaked whatever disease my son has on purpose. Just to drive up demand for the cure. Building security is still online. So watch your step. It's quiet out here. Too quiet. <laughs> oh man, I always wanted to say that. Damn ferals are infesting this place like vermin. It's getting late. Maybe we should look for shelter. The sun should be up soon. It'll be nice to have the daylight back. But it'll definitely be easier to see our targets in the daytime. It's pretty clear out here tonight. But if the weather holds up, I don't like traveling at night. We could be walking right into an ambush and we'd never see it coming. Nice day today. Perfect for traveling. Nothing I love more than hiking in the rain. Yeah, I've got to be honest with you. I feel more comfortable with a rocky ceiling above my head. Lead the way. Good. I was tired of standing around. Yep, I'm right behind you. Okay, just give me a shout when you need me. Fine, I'll hang out here. All right, but don't take too long. I'm watching that airship go down in flames. Yeah, remind me never to piss you off. You really think Valentine has what it takes to find your kid? He's literally falling apart. If Kellogg's out there, we'll find him. I promise. Well, that's the end of that. Looks like Kellogg won't be kidnapping anyone ever again. Did you see the size of that airship? Now that's how you make an entrance. Ugh. Is she really going to poke around Kellogg's brain like that? Gross. I hope this Dr. Amari knows what she's doing. A little trip down Kellogg's memory lane really worked, huh? It must have been something else. If Dr. Virgil really turned himself into a super mutant, we need to find him before he completely loses his mind and decides to kill us. Well, I'll be damned. I never knew that those coursers came with a free prize. So, what's our next move? Find someone that can read that chip? Now, uh, let me get this straight. You're trusting a machine to safely take you apart, then put you back together. Well, I'll tell you what. If you make it back, I'll be the first to shake your hand. If you still have one. Well, you still look like you, so I guess the machine didn't turn you into a pile of mush. Now all you need to explain is how the heck you managed to get out of the Institute alive. Well, that closes the book on the Institute. I can't believe you actually did it. Looks like I picked the right traveling partner to hang around with. Now what do you say we head off and look for some more trouble? I don't know about this freedom trail thing. We should be out here trying to make some caps, but instead we're out here sightseeing. I'll be honest with you. As long as the railroad pays us caps, I don't care if he rescues synths or Santa Claus. Decided to fly the railroad's flag, huh? Fine by me. I just hope they're paying us back for putting their necks on the line. The railroad had themselves a heck of a headquarters before the Institute decided to kick in the front doors. The Brotherhood I remember wouldn't have let us off so easy. Good thing they're being distracted by the Institute. We're taking a lot of risk using the Trojan horse method. Let's hope the Brotherhood's resty on their ancient Greek history. Hang in there. We'll make the Institute pay for what they did to you and your family. I don't know. Playing soldier isn't exactly one of my life's ambitions. But if it gets you closer to whatever you're looking for, you might want to stick around. I'm not sure if we just helped a few stranded soldiers, or pulled the trigger on an invasion of the Commonwealth. I really hope you know what you're doing. The Brotherhood guys? They aren't playing cards with a full deck. Get in the way of their technological crusade and they'll knock you down without even blinking. You didn't happen to borrow any of those fat man shells while you were at Fort Strong, did you? When I was a kid, I heard stories about Liberty Prime Jr. stomping around the Capital Wasteland. By helping the Brotherhood bring it back, you're unleashing a mechanical monster into the Commonwealth. Don't tell me you were shocked when you found out Dance is a synth. The guy has about as much emotion as a bag of hammers. Letting Dance die after he went to bat for you with the Brotherhood was pretty low. And how could you do that to someone who trusted you? 
The way you stuck your neck out for dance, well, it says a lot about you. It makes it easier to stick around when I know I won't end up getting stabbed in the back. I know you were just following orders, but did you really have to kill all these people just because Maxon said so? I don't care what the Brilla Huga whatever is for. If you get to take down some synths in the process, then it sounds like it's worth going after. Well, there's no going back now. I only hope Liberty Prime finds the way into the Institute, or this is going to be a short war. Only raiders would be stupid enough to let a synth order them around. Let's go and help them sort things out. Did you ever stop and think that those synths at Bunker Hill might not want to be found? Maybe we should just look the other way this time. I don't care what the barrel of hookah whatever is for. If you want to help the Institute get that thing, they better be paying us well. I can't believe you talk someone into working with the Institute. As if things out here aren't bad enough already. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not sure if your little announcement about the reactor going online is making me feel better or worse. I know you were just following orders. But did you really have to kill all these people just because the Institute said so? Institute 1, Commonwealth 0. Not exactly the outcome I would have bet on, but as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. It takes a lot to impress me, but watching you kill that Deathclaw? <whistles> that was something else. So the Minutemen need a new home, and we get to kill a bunch of Mirelurks? <laughs> Count me in. Well, I might be covered in a bunch of Mirelurk slime, but I'm hanging in there. Where to now? That artillery should give the Minutemen the edge they need to take on anyone, including the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, that Mirelurk queen was, uh, horrifying. I don't think I'm ever going near the ocean again. If Ronnie's right, this armory could be like a gold mine. But I'd say we follow her lead for now. With all those weapons in the armory, the Minutemen should have plenty of protection. I hope they appreciate everything we've done for them. Back again. Thought I told you I didn't have time for this nonsense. Don't tell me you're siding with those idiots. Look, if you've got the caps, I'm not gonna let you down. I used to run with the gunners, for God's sake. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. You're joking, right? I've been doing this since I was a kid. I know my way around. I used to run with the gunners, for God's sake. If you're worried about Winlock and Barnes, don't be. They couldn't kill a squirrel with a rocket launcher. Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. Sticks and stones, pal. You change your mind, you know where to find me. Look, I need the money, and I'm not about to let Winlock and Barnes scare a client away. You have nothing to worry about. There's two are weaker than a housefly. They're about half as smart. It's not like the meter's running. Take your time. I got plenty. Maybe it's better that you don't. I don't want the stink of Winlock and Barnes rubbing off on me and scaring away my business. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. You're one of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but I never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. All right, all right. You need to get your panties in a bunch. Tell you what. Price is 250 caps. Up front and non-negotiable. I already told you way too much. I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. Look, I'm tired of playing 20 questions. So I'll cut you a deal right now. 250 caps. Up front. And there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the gunners. That bar and good neighbor is looking real good right now. You ought to quit helping everyone so much and start letting us help ourselves. Can't believe I agree to this crap. I must have been out of my mind. This is a hell of a way to make a living. The hell's your problem anyway? It's not like we're family. Hundreds of potential clients in the Commonwealth, and I got stuck with you. Congratulations! You've actually managed to suck all the fun out of our partnership. Here's a little friendly advice for the open road. Stop making us look so stupid. If I knew this was going to be a mercy mission, I never would have signed up. Yeah, yeah, more bright ideas from the Brain Trust. Man, I could really use a cigarette. Let's get this show on the road. The open road and a loaded weapon. Doesn't get much better than this. You point, and I'll shoot. 
Pretty simple arrangement. Walk a hundred miles if I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me at the end. Play your cards right, and we stand to make a whole lot of money. This is a far cry from working with the gunners. Glad that's behind me. I'd kill for a drink. Come to think of it, I have. Anytime you want me to carry some of that valuable gear you're lugging, you just, uh, you just let me know. Axes to grind. Hell, I have a ton of them. Keep leading and I'll follow you. That was a deal, right? I hate to admit it, but I'm starting to enjoy this little deal we have going. Never thought I'd see the day where someone's watching my back for a change. All things considered, you're doing a hell of a job. It's about time things started going my way. You're the only person alive I can trust. Don't disappoint me. Pocket fulls of caps and all the ammo I can carry. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than this. Don't mind this hike. Helps being in such good company. The next time we get a chance, we should swap road stories. I bet you've got some good ones to tell. Hope the good times last. They rarely do. I've been having so much fun out here, I almost forgot about my troubles. It'll be a cold day in hell before I let anything bad happen to you. Don't get too far ahead of me. I like being close. Don't know what karma I cashed, but I definitely don't deserve someone as good as you. I'll never forget what you've done. You saved me. For myself. Side by side, we can take on the whole world. And nothing's going to stop us. Always knew there was something special about you. Glad I found it. Everything's going to be alright, as long as we stick together. I hope this little thing we have going lasts forever. Don't want to go back to the way things were. Happy. For the first time in my life, I'm happy. Can you believe it? Don't know what you're looking for out here, but I'm gonna help you find it. Or die trying. <sighs> Don't know what's worse. The smell of rotting seaweed or the pungent stink of the algae. I Don't like boats. Prefer to keep my feet planted firmly on dry land. Read a book once that said ocean views are breathtaking. Must have been a work of fiction. You ever heard of dynamite fishing? Waste of time. Use a fat man's shell and you'll never go hungry again. The allure of the sea. What a crock. This place is a goddamn mess. You sure you want to pick through all this garbage? There has to be something valuable around here. Some strange things turn up in these places. Ever hear about that warehouse in South Dakota? Yeesh. If you find anything valuable, don't leave it behind. I'll be carried if I can. Know what I feel like in here? Like a rat in a maze. Not really much around here, is there? Yeah, I'm not sure about you, but I never liked fighting in close quarters. Spent a lot of time in tunnels when I was a kid. You get used to it after a while. Echo! <laughs> Damn, I love it when that works. Looting old warehouses isn't my idea of a good time. Feel like there's a lot of climbing in our future. Top of a building like this is the best place for sniping. Hope this building holds together. It's a long way down. Skyscraper like this is bound to be full of all sorts of things that don't like visitors. Let's take our time in here. It's easy to overlook valuables and all the rubble. Wow, this is a nice place to get ambushed. Great choice. A trash pit. Wonderful. Rust. My favorite color. Don't visit the city much. Safer not to. Getting stuffed in here to avoid the bombs? Forget it. I would have taken my chances outside. Well, if they struck gold here, they never lived to spend it. Long way to the bottom. We better watch our step. They should have been digging a shelter instead of a quarry. I can get a clear shot from the top of the quarry. Just say the word. If there was anything of value here, I'm guessing it's long gone by now. I can't imagine what it was like being locked in here with hundreds of other people. Yeah, I know. Check the desks for valuables. This might take a while. Look on the bright side. If we steal office supplies, who's gonna know? I'd take a moment of silence to honor the fallen, but frankly, I don't care. We used to live near Vault 87 back in the day. One of the stories I could tell. I knew a guy that holed up in a subway tunnel once. When I found him, there was nothing left but bones. Nasty as hell down here. Let's make this quick. Ferals are attracted to these tunnels like bloat flies to a flame. The caves I grew up in were luxurious compared to this dump. Think we can get a few caps for any of this junk? vault -Tec got to choose who lived and who died. See, that's kind of like playing God if you ask me. Never could have held a job in a place like this. Doing the same thing day after day? No thanks. Stay focused. We could get jumped again at any time. Think we'll find anything useful in this dump? It might be worth checking this factory for spare parts. When it comes to scavenging, don't overlook places like this. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, let's get out of here as soon as we can. Don't fancy being buried alive. The only thing I missed when I was living underground was the daylight. 
Nothing yells comfort like sleeping on a rocky floor. Ugh. Smells like rotting vegetables in here. We might be able to scrounge up a decent bottle or two while we're here. Wonder how many bottles a day this brewery churned out. Institute synths carry some valuable tech. Don't leave anything behind. Damn synths are worse than rodents. Kill one and two more take its place. If the synths know we're here, the whole Institute knows we're here. I don't know how these things get around so fast. Don't underestimate Institute synths. They're lethal killing machines. Smells like rust with a hint of mole rat dung in here. You know why robots are so dangerous? Because they won't give up until they're destroyed. There's no doubt about it. Raiders are the scum of the Commonwealth. It's a pleasure to kill these guys. Don't bother reasoning with a raider. A bullet between the eyes is all they understand. Let's just dust these idiots and be done with the place. What the hell do you expect me to snipe down here? I don't like it down here. Not one bit. If something steps out of these shadows, I'm gonna blow it in half. I'm going to guess this place is out of stock on just about everything. Doing a little window shopping? Waste of time. If there was anything good here, I'm betting that it's long gone. Let's look around. Maybe we can find a safe or something. Used to know a kid named Knickknack who ran a store like this. Kept all sorts of junk laying around. This tub's seen better days. Between you and me, I hate being on the water. It makes me seasick. I never understood the whole captain goes down with the ship thing. Me? I'm smarter than that. Saltwater's done some serious damage to this ship. This might have been quite a hell of a ship once. Now it's just a man-made mirelurk nest. School's out forever, right? <laughs> Never mind. I don't think we're gonna find much here. It's a school, for God's sake. Unless we're looking for books, this is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. This place, it feels wrong being here. All these buildings make it impossible to get a proper lay of the land. You think this place looks bad? Go visit the Capital Wasteland sometime. Keep your eyes open. We're not alone down here. This would be a lot easier if one of these cars still worked. It might be worth checking these houses for some extra ammo. Bombs must have missed this town. Would have been nice to put down roots somewhere like this. Beats living in a cave. This place reminds me of Big Town. Better days, I guess. We should stock up on supplies while we're here. Beautiful out here. Always love the great outdoors. Growing up underground makes you appreciate places like this. Uh, slim pickings around here. Maybe we should head out. We probably shouldn't be walking out in the open like this. Why couldn't Lamplight have been a park? <sighs> oh, God. You're going to stop and read every terminal in the place, aren't you? Choose a job you love, and you'll never have to work a day in your life. Huh. <laughs> Tell that to these people. People sat in places like this all day and just stared at their computers? Impressive. But who builds a memorial for the memorial builders now that they're gone? Where I'm from, you couldn't walk five feet without tripping over a memorial. Every time I visit a place like this, I feel like I'm coming home. Idiots died serving their country. I would have been looking for shelter. Watch where you shoot. Too many things at these places like to go boom. Should find a few choice items here. If the Commonwealth vermin haven't stripped it clean. Give me a shout if you find any mods for my sniper rifle. Man, it's dark down here. I want to stay close. The hell were they studying here anyway? Ugh, what a huge waste of time. I bet nothing good for the world ever came from this place. Might be a few meds mixed in with all this science junk. I'll let you know. Ugh, it smells pretty bad around here. Hope the chemicals aren't toxic. Seen my share of wrecked hospitals in my travels, but this one's pretty trashed. Time to load up on stim packs. Got some tainted buff out from a hospital once. Took one hit and I couldn't see straight for a week. Pretty sure the doctors who worked here wouldn't have minded us helping ourselves with some free meds. All these empty beds. Heesh. <laughs> giving me the creeps. Uh, not much to search through around here. This might be a decent place to take a rest. Always useful to remember where these spots are. Huh. Wonder if it's safe to stop here for a bit. I don't know. I'd rather hole up somewhere with a solid roof over my head. Hmm. Not quite as cozy as Little Lamplight, but I could call it home. I grew up living in a cave just like this. Can you believe it? You'd be surprised how much a campfire can warm up a cold place like this. Been drinking since I was six. Never looked back. Oh, this is a great place to look for loose caps. Never been in a plane before. Highest I've ever gotten is taking a hit at Psycho. One thing's for sure, these planes aren't going anywhere. Imagine flying up there and suddenly the bombs hit. Yeesh. Don't spend too long near that plane wreckage, unless you want to start glowing from your insides. I can't believe the control tower's still standing. I've seen a super mutant rip the limbs off someone while they're still alive. Never going to get that image out of my head. The super mutants didn't just fall out of the ugly tree. 
They were dropped on it from low orbit. Heard that super mutants like to take prisoners. Don't even want to know what happens to them. These mutants don't scare me. Been fighting them since I was a kid. There's nothing dumber than an angry super mutant. You want to stop a robot in its tracks? Yank out its fusion battery. Heard there were pre-war robots that are still running. Now that's impressive. Salvage whatever you can from these things. These morons steal anything that isn't nailed down. Like rats instead of men. Ugh, I used to eat these things. Still can't get the taste out of my mouth. Don't even want to imagine what kind of diseases these are carrying. Mole rats will burrow right up under you if they have the chance. That smell is horrible. I think I'm gonna puke. Don't underestimate mole rats. Seen them strip the flesh from a man's bones in a matter of minutes. Okay, I've officially lost my appetite for seafood. Some people eat mirelurk meat, but I never got used to the taste. If there was ever a sign that nature's pissed at us, this is it. You're gonna need some high-velocity ammo if you want to punch through mirelurk armor. Hope you brought a mallet and a bib with you. Can't believe I was stupid enough to run with these idiots. What was I thinking joining these clowns? Doesn't get much crazier than these jokers. Killing these morons is doing the Commonwealth a favor. So nice of them to paint that bullseye on their heads. Oh good, ferals. Like shooting ghouls in a barrel. Can't believe these things move so fast. If too much radiation leads to looking like that, I think I'd rather die. Yeah, they were people once, but trust me. Their humanity vanished the moment they changed. Oh god, not these walking piles of flesh again. Nothing turns your shorts brown faster than a Deathclaw charging at you. We need to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. If Deathclaws are mutated Jackson's chameleons, how the heck did they get so big? We're doing a bit of big game hunting now, huh? Seen bullets glance right off a Deathclaw's hide before. Better load up with the heavy stuff. Why the hell would you worship radiation? Makes no sense. Well, I met plenty of weirdos in my day, but these bozos are off the scale. If any of this makes sense to you, I don't even want to know about it. And talk about delusional. These freaks think that the Great War was a holy event. Don't even bother trying to talk to any of these psychopaths. Gross. Just... gross. How the hell did these bugs end up so goddamn huge? Don't tell me you're afraid of a few bugs. A bug bite from these things will kill you. What I wouldn't give for my own suit of power armor. The Capital Wasteland used to be crawling with these guys. Unless you like taking a laser shot to the head, don't tick off a Brotherhood soldier. With the Brotherhood here, you can be sure that the Commonwealth will turn into a war zone. Those whirlybirds are pretty damn impressive. Wish we had one of those. I, I can't believe you feel this way about me. I don't know. I mean, we're two sides of the same coin, right? It's true. I miss Lucy to death. But at some point we have to move on, don't you think? Anyway, thanks for hearing me out. Taking all that weight off my shoulders makes the journey a little easier. If you know what I mean. Speaking of which, it's about time we got back on the road, don't you think? I... I don't know what to say. Believe me, I understand exactly how you're feeling right now. I... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I never thought of us that way. What about your husband? I know he's gone, but you still love him, don't you? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not ready for something like that right now. I'm gonna have to think about it. I hope that doesn't jeopardize our friendship, but... Knowing you like I do, I'm betting it won't. Come on, let's go kick some doors down. Time's wasting. <laughs> Man, let's just hate it when the stuff they play on that station gets stuck in your head. Our partnership is turning out to be the best thing that's ever happened to me. I hope it lasts. Wherever you need to go, I'll be following right behind. I should just give up being a merc and stick with you. Going to be a while before you can wipe that smile off my face. Never had a best friend before. People around me tend to not stay alive very long. Too bad Duncan couldn't be out here with us. At least he's safe now. I'll never get tired of this. I'm having too much fun. Hey, have you heard this one? It's about the super mutant who wondered why a rock kept getting bigger. Then it hit him. <laughs> no? Eh. Remember, if you need anything, you be sure and let me know. You know, I've been thinking about what you said the last time we talked. About wanting something more than friendship. Don't think I'll ever get tired of hearing you say that. Hey, message received. There's no need to get touchy. I'll never mention it again. Sorry to keep bringing it up, but I think you deserve to know. Of course. You could have fooled me. I can believe it. Don't lie to the guy. Sheesh. The truth is, we'll probably all be killed. Guess this is goodbye, sweetheart. He's telling you the truth. This is a goddamn waste of time. Just point us in the right direction. All right, I'm gonna stop you there. We're not amateurs, you know? All right, I'm gonna stop you there. We're not amateurs, you know? Yeah, you screwed this one up good, Travis. You need to grow a pair, buddy. Of course it will. Stop whining already. 
Yeah, give us an excuse to open fire. Please. If you know, then do something about it. Act like a man, for God's sake. All right, I'm gonna stop you there. We're not amateurs, you know? All right, I'm gonna stop you there. We're not amateurs, you know? Well, I thought we were here to wipe you out, so count your blessings, sweetheart. Probably because you were too stupid to look. Now tell us where the heck we're going already. This isn't going to end well. You're just going to let everyone go? Yeah, what a letdown. We're gonna regret bringing this guy, aren't we? <sighs> it's about freaking time you showed some backbone. Okay, fine, you win. It's your fault. Now help us fix it, dummy. Let's consider the super mutant's target practice for now, okay? That change your mind, Doc? I'm a bit surprised you haven't forgotten what happened a few hundred years ago. That was interference by man. It didn't go well. I don't like the sound of that. Maybe we should stay out of this war. Oh, for God's sakes, just let me cut this guy down, will ya? Commonwealth's never going to be the same, that's for sure. Good luck, General. I hope you find your son. You don't need her, she'll just get in the way. Yeah, I don't think you want to get mixed up with these Brotherhood clowns. Well, at least we're starting at the top. Who gives a damn about this world anymore? It's long past done. I don't know. Caps or no caps, I don't trust these guys. They don't see the big deal. It's just a machine. Do whatever you want. I'll just sit back and watch the fireworks. Yeah, I didn't think we were just walking out of here with the agitator. Hooking up with the Brotherhood has its advantages. You might want to think about it. <laughs> Someone's parents had a sick sense of humor. Wiping out anything that moves is one of my specialties. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't you hear what he said? The dude's a synth. I suppose it couldn't hurt to let these guys back us up once in a while. You're considering giving this dance guy a pass? You need to have your head examined. So kill them all before they kill you first? Yeah, I can get behind that. We don't need her. She'll just get in the way. Yeah, I'll say. That thing must be packed with troops and enough firepower to level Diamond City if it wanted. I just look at it as survival of the fittest. They wanted to kill us, but we were better. End of story. Smart pooch. I could have used a dog like that when I was making my way up here from the Capital Wasteland. Kellogg's pretty smart. He's doing everything he can to keep people off his trail. Oh my god, that sounds boring. Yeah, the world's already filled with bad news. What good does it do to broadcast that to everybody? Pretty clever mutt you have there. Where to next? That sounds pretty damn boring. Well, except the part about being with your family. Are we finally closing in on this guy or what? That's a pretty outdated concept if you ask me. Who even cares anymore? Yeah, something tells me you're making all this up. Paranoia started to fall like rain. This place would need to build an ark. <laughs> the monument here is a joke compared to the one in downtown Washington, D.C. The only thing I'm looking for while we're here is one of those funny-looking hats. I always wanted one of them. Synths are dangerous, especially when they pretend to be your friend. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, it's certainly something, all right. Yeah, it looks like a huge mess to me. Thanks, Strong. Going from someone like you, that's a pretty big compliment. This was a bad idea. You should have left that guy in there. Uh, yeah. Thanks. I guess. I'd call the slide first, but, uh, my tetanus shots are way out of date. Raiders sure know how to keep you on your toes, don't you think? Well, that's the last thing I expected to find down here. Maybe we shouldn't touch anything. I wonder if someone smashed these tanks in or did something smash its way out. <coughs> oh, this can't be good. I <coughs> hope this stuff isn't lethal. Hey, great sniping position from up here. Whoever this belongs to needs to find themselves a new hobby. Oh, great. Thanks for the nightmare fuel. Maybe we should keep moving. Whatever rampaged through this campsite might come back. Wonder if these folks died of old age or baked when the rats hit. Oh, I'd love to see the ads for this place. Quiet, cozy cabins with a lakeside view and in-room Mirelurk service. We're entering Gunner's territory, so we need to be careful. If I'm recognized, they'll be going after me with a vengeance. Always wanted my own trailer. It'd be midnight blue with a leopard skin interior. Hey, beats living in a cave. I, I can't look at this. Reminds me too much of the people I left behind. When the bombs started falling, but the last thing on this ranger's mind was forest fires. People still fight over food like this. I guess nothing's changed. I can still smell the ozone in the air. I wonder if that ever goes away. Just one of these generators could power a settlement. Too bad they're out of commission. Careful. These military bots have a mean temper when you tamper with government property. 
I have the scars to prove it. You sure it's safe to walk around in this turbine? These guys were sure in a hurry to get out of this building. This might be a good time to invest in a boat. All I want to know is where I can find some saltwater taffy. You, uh, you think any of these buttons get us out of here and give us a whole bunch of caps for our trouble? Yeah, me neither. <sighs> oh, yep, this is really fascinating. Can we stay longer? Hey, look, it's the Brotherhood of Squeal. <laughs> Raiders check in, but they don't check out. I can't believe this airliner was stupid enough to be flying during the war. Hey, yeah, yeah, can, uh, can someone crack a window? It's, uh, it's hot as hell in here. Mirelurks are like the mole rats of the sea. Look what they did to this place. Oh, great. The Brotherhood of Steel. As if the day couldn't get any better. I bet that thing's been broadcasting the same message for the last 200 years. Oh, come on. We have to pick through all this scrap? It's going to take all day. Wait, this is the common. We need to get the hell out of here. Unless you like being killed. Whoa! This is way too loud! I wish we could shut this off! What? I can't hear you! They make vacuum cleaners for a reason, you know. <clears throat> Ugh, damn dust is going right up my nose. Cleaning robot take the day off or something? Don't make me poke through all this garbage. If you want to root through this mess, go right ahead. What the heck happened in here? The place is trashed. This is amazing. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Wow, would you look at that? This is... different. No telling who or what just left here. I'm not trying to make you nervous, but there was someone or something here recently. Whoever left here did it in a hurry. This is just about the worst place for us to be standing right now. If we want to stay alive, we need to make for some cover. Nothing I love more than standing out in the open, waiting to get shot. <sighs> this is a pleasant change. I can hear myself thinking here. Pretty quiet here. It usually means something's about to go very wrong. Well, sneaking's out of the question in here. What the... I can't see a damn thing. Why the heck is there so much light in here? That's fine. I didn't need my eyesight anyway. This would be a great spot to bunker down. There's gotta be something valuable inside to justify all this protection. Ah, oh, we've gotta see what's inside this place. Whew. Good spot to take a break. Maybe we could stay here for a while. Pleasant change, not having to look over your shoulder. Got some spare ammo if you want. Need any ammo? I have some to spare. Would a couple of rounds help you out? Running low on bullets? This place looks untouched. How's that possible? Okay, so who let the cleaning robot loose in here? This place is cleaner than my own house. Oh, man. This thing was blown to bits. Sorry, Doc. I don't think this one's gonna make it. Ugh. What a mess. <sighs> What's that smell coming from? Okay, that's just about the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. Phew. That smells absolutely terrible. Hmm, this looks promising. Drum roll, please. What do we have here? Yeah, we should get the heck out of here. Now would be good. Is it normal for the hairs on the back of my neck to be standing straight up like this? Getting bad vibes from this place. We shouldn't be here. Ugh, that's absolutely nasty. What the hell is it? Oh, God. I'm going to be sick. You have got to be effing kidding me. That's disgusting. Here you go. Here. This should help keep you alive. Hope this helps. Take this. You're gonna need it. If humans were meant to swim, the radiation would have given us flippers. Well, first we're going to get soaked, then we're going to get cold. As if we weren't miserable enough already. Uh, I can't stand getting wet. You got a light on that fancy wristwatch? Either I'm blacking out, or it's dark as hell in here. Damn. Is it time to go already? I never knew you could do that with mute fruit. Ready to face the day? This weapon should come in handy. Hey, found a weapon in here. Got a firearm in here. Got some food for you in this thing. Found some grub. Just found some water in here. Nothing much in here but some water. If you're thirsty, I just found some water. Heck yeah! Found some booze. I can't see a thing in here. Hey, not a bad haul. This stuff should help us out. Not bad. Check this out. Yeah, I'm not getting in there. No way. It's locked. I never could wrap my head around all this science stuff. Have fun with this junk. 
I have no idea what any of it does. There has to be something worth a few caps in here. Wake up, sleepyhead. That was amazing. Oh, good. Got some armor. Can't go wrong with armor. Found some armor. Found some stims if you need them. Oh, great. Stims are pretty useful. Stims in this thing. Got some chems in here. I see chems, but not much else. Chems useful to you? I mean, got some here. I found some food here. Hey, there's liquor in here. Hope you're ready to party. Just scrounged up some liquor. Got some spare ammo in this one. Oh, good. We can always use more ammo. We're in luck. Found some ammo. Gah. This isn't even worth our time. Unless you're suddenly into collecting junk. You might want to skip this. Uh, nothing but scrap in here. I can't. It's sealed up tight. Well, well. Dog meat must be part bloodhound. Why don't you give him a break while we pay Kellogg a visit? Can't argue with that. I'll tell you what. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Are you kidding me? I'm not about to let a couple of gunner rejects stand between me and a solid payday. Sticks and stones, lady. You change your mind. You know where to find me. That depends. You ready to fork over 250 caps? Something wrong with your hearing? I just told you I'm not going to negotiate. So, are you in, or should I get back to my drink? This idiot was trying to pal around with a bunch of Meyer lurks? I don't know. If there's a reason I should stay, you better make it a good one. You tell me. I've been dealing with it long enough. Thanks, partner. Sure you do. You want to tell me how cruel it was to leave them behind? No! It's too late for that! Well, you sure have a funny way of showing it. I'm not trying to ask for too much. Are you kidding me? I'll put medtech research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before, even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Yeah, I kind of figured I pushed you too much. If you change your mind, just let me know. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you, but it has to end. Right now. I've been following you around, risking my neck to protect you and obeying your orders. Just like your stupid mutt. And all I ask in return is just a little common courtesy. Well, guess what? If you don't start treating me like your partner, I'm leaving. Is that clear enough for you? Let me explain. Call it whatever you want. You don't have to say anything at all. Talk? Why bother? Look, I'm going to give you a break. You're dealing with some serious issues, and I know it's not easy working them out. But I've got to tell you, there's only so much I'm going to be able to take. This is your last chance. All I'm asking is that you listen to me once in a while. And start acting like you care. It really isn't that hard. Giving me the brush off, huh? Fine. Later, I guess. Every doctor I've talked to is worthless. They never even heard of the disease. I don't need them. I need someone like you. I didn't think it did. I told you I didn't like how our little partnership was going. And I warned you, if it didn't change, I was going to walk. But you decided to throw everything I said out the window and do things your own way. Well, I'm here to tell you that I won't be bugging you about it anymore. Because I'm leaving. I think it's obvious. Thanks. You better get your act together. It's not about you. It's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. Had a beautiful wife named Lucy. And a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. I don't know. Is there? I'm not looking for any special favors. I just want my old partner back. I didn't have much of a choice. You can't be serious. To be honest, I don't know him from Adam. But he brought up the blue boils and the sickness his partner suffered from. There's no way that's a coincidence. Or a trap. Would make any sense. If Sinclair says MedTech Research is the place, that's where we need to go. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. See, that's not how you were acting before. That's not the person I fell in love with. Just hear me out. That old line again, huh? Fair enough. Just don't wait too long. I don't know... I don't know how long Duncan has. I hope you're joking because you couldn't possibly be that blind. Well, I wanted to say it anyway. I will. I promise. You know what? Fuck you! That's right. Fuck you! I promised someone that I'd never talk like that again. But I think in this case, they'd make an exception. If it was, then we wouldn't be talking at all. I suppose that I am. You stuck your neck out for me. And I don't forget sh- I mean, things like that. Get the heck out of here. I'm through talking with you. We're done. Get out of my face. Go find someone else to bother. No, 
I'm not listening to you anymore. I guess I needed to tell someone how I felt about it. <laughs> Clever. I suppose I can be a bit, well, rambling at times. Yeah, I tend to do that sometimes. In the end, if we both work on keeping our relationship strong, I think everything will turn out for the best. I thought that I almost lost you forever. I'm glad I was wrong. Last time we talked, I hope I didn't bore you to death by dumping my life story on you. I really appreciate you saying that. And the fact of the matter is, you're the closest thing to family I have out here. As we've been traveling together, I'm finding it easier and easier to share my feelings with you. Anyway, I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. There's no need for me to ask. I already know how you feel about me. You don't remember? I told you about my wife Lucy, and how she died. I even gave you that carved toy soldier as a token of our friendship. Sounds like I really did bore you to death. I don't know how you pulled that off, buddy. The Institute's been kidnapping people from the Commonwealth. And now you think the Minutemen can work with them? You're crazy. <sighs> These idiots never learn. So, who put the toy robot in charge? Uh, last time I looked, everyone else was in huge green and trying to smash me with boulders. Why are you being so goddamn stubborn, Doc? We don't need her. She'll just get in the way. Stop using the kid gloves. If she's not gonna help us, just toss her off the ship. Literally. Yeah, we're better off staying far away from these Brotherhood clowns. I could tell you what's inside this building, but, uh, what would be the point? Because <laughs> cause it's a pyramid. Yeah, never mind. It's not the flying that would make me nervous. It's the crashing part. I heard that this place was an insane asylum. Maybe we should skip it. I spent my childhood living right next to a vault. Those are some seriously bad memories I wish I could forget. Nothing sounds safer to me than riding in a metal coffin with thousands of gallons of water above your head. Uh, you're gonna make us climb all the way to the top of this death trap, aren't you? This must have been one heck of a circus when the Minutemen were in town. Yeah, I've got a very bad feeling about this place. All right, let's go kick some, uh, shell. Goddamn ferals pushed their way in here. She never stood a chance. You, uh, you off somewhere else, or what? Come on, I can't be that boring. Okay, you're starting to freak me out. Come back down to Earth, spaceman. I love these one-sided conversations. Hello? Anyone in there? Hey, we're talking here, right? Getting us killed is the farthest thing from my mind, Angel. I aim to please. I wonder where this train is headed. I doubt there's much track left for it to run on. Oh, yeah. The ship looks way better over there. Perfectly nice houses and no one living in them. That's not a good sign. If Concord's above us, what the hell are we doing down here? Hurry! I heard they had a two-for-one sale in the men's department. Oh, God. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, this place really got worked over. I wonder if anyone managed to escape. What the hell is wrong with these doctors? How could they just switch off the morality? I wonder how many of these people stayed to report the news when the bombs started falling. I'd hate to fall from up there. I hope you're not thinking of swimming in that mess. Oh, great. A new source of ferals. It's just what the Commonwealth needed. It would have been nicer if this was still a swimming pool. Got your ad chems handy? We're gonna need them. I know a few guys who could build anything out of these parts. Looks like some kind of robot training camp or something. Can't we ever stumble into somewhere nice? You know, with flowers? Bright colors? Yeah, let's pass on the fish. It, uh, gives me gas. You don't want that to happen. I don't see the point. Not like any ships are still sailing out there. What the hell? Is that a pyramid? In the basement of a school? Baltech was running out of ideas. Holy sh... Holy crap! Are those... missiles? So this is where they used to film the old Silver Shroud shows. <laughs> I wish I could have seen them. They say leaving a cap on the gravestone of a friend or relative can bring you good luck. I say it's just a waste of a cap. Uh, y you saw that, right? Oh, <laughs> it's one of those toy ponies. Get up butter cake or something like that. <clears throat> it's nothing. I, I just got something in my eye. Nice. Very nice. All I need is a few throw pillows and some drapes. It'll be good as new. Reminder, cars and bullets don't mix. Damn, that's a lot louder than I thought it would be. Well, this is cozy. I wonder how many years of rainfall it took to fill this quarry. 
Unless you want to start glowing, you might want to hang back. Something isn't right here. I can't believe this building hasn't toppled over by now. Uh, this reminds me of the time we tried to perform Pyramus and Thisbe in Little Lamplight. Yeah, that didn't really go over too well. Railroad kind of painted themselves into a corner up here, didn't they? Oh, this is great. I've always wanted to ride on one of these. More super mutants? <sighs> I'm getting sick of these green lunatics. The only thing missing from this playground is the radiation. Ugh, gross. This place smells horrible. This might put me off drinking beer for a while. I wonder how many people came here seeking absolution when the bomb started falling. That would be a death claw, which means we should get the hell out of here. If the Institute was smart, they would have sealed this off a long time ago. Well, this would be the perfect sniper's position, if it wasn't for that stupid screen blocking the view. Make sure you search the entire cabin thoroughly. <laughs> no? Wow. They must have been building this vault all the way up to the last second. You think they'll uh, kick us off the lot if we didn't buy a ticket? Hey, I've got some ammo for you. Here's that ammo. Well, Curie, I uh, guess you're up. Have fun out there. So, when are we going to have that one-on-one -on -one interview, Piper? All right, Deacon. I guess it's your turn. Stay safe. Your turn, X6. I'm tapped out. Damn, I uh, forgot to pick up that motor oil for you, Valentine. I know you do. I'm just getting tired of taking instead of giving. Maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight. Definitely. For the Gunners, it's always about the bottom line. And they just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides, they have no way of knowing I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out here. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. Well, I don't like these things hanging over my head. All right, let's find that executive terminal. Sinclair said that's the only way we can override the facility's lockdown. All right, Winlock and Barnes should be here. Let's take them down. We did it. Holy crap, we actually did it. We just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. Always. I'm just used to people taking rather than giving. Maybe one day I'll realize that you're different. The way these lunatics act, you'd think they would. But I know better. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Medtech research. I hope Sinclair's information pays off. Let's head inside and grab that cure. Ugh, smells horrible. I think we're the first ones down here in a long time. The sooner we find that cure, the sooner we can get the heck out of here. <laughs> I know I am. I've always been better at taking than giving. Maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight. There's nothing to worry about. I guess that's fair. After all, you took some of the risk. And don't worry, I'll still stick with you, because that was part of the original deal. Now we're even. There you go. I guess we're done here. Lead on, boss. Thank God that worked. Let's find our way down to the sublevel. That's where Medtech should be storing the cure. No. I don't like doing business that way. Look, come back when you have the caps and maybe we can make a deal. Yeah, you're right. I'm just used to people taking rather than giving. Maybe one day I'll realize that you're different. Trust me, I know him well. Sure, but I like everything to remain nice and even. And you're one up on me. Tell you what, I'm going to give you back the caps you paid me in good neighbor. I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal, but... Now we're even. Well, this should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. Check the terminal on the desk over there. Sinclair's passcode better work, or we're screwed. We've got a point there. All right, what the fuck? Sorry, I promised I wouldn't say it like that. Uh, forget it. Let's, let's just get going. The sooner we leave this place behind, the better. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. And that's it? Goodbye? After everything we've done? There's nothing to say. That's what I thought. I just want things to go back to the way they were. If you still love me, you'll change. And if you don't, well, we'll just remain friends. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. It's no walk in the park. If it was easy, I would have already done it myself. Look, I really need your help on this one. 
Duncan needs you too. Definitely. With those two clowns taking a dirt nap, I'm pretty sure the gunners heard my message loud and clear. Couldn't have done it without your help. Fine. Uh, yeah, you could say that. That's all you have to say? Really? Not too long ago, you told me you wanted to be closer to me. That you saw me as more than just a friend. It felt right at the time, so I agreed. Lately, though, you've been, well, changing. You seem like you're angry at me. Ignoring me, doing things your own way. Now I know I'm not the most patient person in the world, but I think I've tolerated quite a bit of this new you. I suppose what I'm saying is I think it's time we took a step back from our relationship. At least until things cool down. I didn't have much of a choice. You know what? Fuck you! That's right, fuck you! I promised someone I'd never talk like that again. But I think in this case, they'd make an exception. Now get the hell away from me! Before I do something I might regret. I wouldn't say it's over. I just need some time to think about our relationship. Yeah, I think it's important. <laughs> Are you kidding? You need to start acting like you give a damn about me. You do that, and I'll stick with you. If you don't, I'm walking. End of discussion. All right, hold up. We need to talk. So tell me. What the hell is going on with you? Okay, stop. What the hell is going on with you? I said we need to talk, damn it. It can't wait. Stop! We need to talk. Right now, damn it! Sure. Fine. Yes. Fine by me. No problem. No. I want to know what's going on with you. Here we were, good friends, traveling through the Commonwealth together, doing what we do best. And suddenly you're like a stranger to me. I don't even feel like I know you anymore. You're that stranger that walked up to me in the third rail all over again. Our partnership is going straight down the drain and you're prancing around like you don't even care. That's the best you can do? Yeah, I figured you'd ask me about this sooner or later. After what you did, I doubt anyone will hire me. You stand in here for a reason? What's it gonna take to get through to you? Go away. It's pretty obvious that you don't care about anyone but yourself. You just couldn't help yourself, could you? Look, I told you to ease up on the murdering spree. But you've been knocking off more people than I even care to count. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time. I mean, you obviously don't give a damn what I have to say. About anything. Yeah. I'm sorry, too. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. It was difficult, but it needed to be said. Sorry you feel that way. Wouldn't have been the first time I've made a mistake. You, uh, you ready to talk now? I promise it won't take long. Wouldn't have killed you to say something nicer there, but I suppose it isn't your fault. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. I know I was taking a chance dumping all my feelings on the table, but now that I know how you really feel about me, it was definitely worth the risk. For once in my life, everything's going right, and I have you to thank for it. I don't think anyone in the world could ask for a greater gift than that. Thank you. We made the mistake of holing up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. Appreciated. We've been good friends for a while now. Lately, though, you've been, well, changing. You seem like you're angry at me. Ignoring me. Doing things your own way. Now, I, I know I'm not the most patient person in the world, but I think I've tolerated quite a bit of this new you. What I'm trying to tell you is that you need to start treating me a little better before we both start regretting our partnership. I just want things to go back to the way they were. If you still want to be friends, you'll change. If you don't, well, we'll just go our separate ways. And for someone that said they were my friend, you have a strange way of showing me that you still want me around. Of course. If we weren't, I wouldn't even be having this conversation. You're arresting this nutcase? The hell with that. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a blast. Wish I brought a camera. And if you're wrong and he flips a switch and starts shooting at us, don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, you might want to start looking for someone else to bunk with. Yeah, this isn't pre-war damage. Something was detonated here within the last few years or so. Feeling fine, thanks. But uh, if a couple of stim packs fall my way, I wouldn't object. We used to have a hoop set up in Little Lamplight, until Eclair broke the darn thing. I wonder why those clowns are guarding the tunnel. Well, this is a quaint little mess. Well, looks like this one took the easy way out. This is the best user robots I've ever seen. 
I mean, who knew they could be so much fun? Well, any landing you can walk away from. There's something in here went kaboom. Maybe we shouldn't touch anything. This place used to be a market before the Great War. Now, I wouldn't eat in here if you paid me. I'm going to guess that we don't want to know what's under that rowboat. Let's be careful. No human being would possibly pile books this way. I know students thought school was torture, but this is taking it a little too far. I've been to a few dive bars in my day, but this one's got them all beat. I think the answers we're looking for are inside that house. Well, this is one way to avoid paying at the turnstiles. Defense Intelligence Agency. Heck of a lot of good they did. Well, let's not stand out in the open too long. I kind of feel like a moving target. Not much left of the Institute. I miss the Capital Wastelands radio. Three Dog was a hell of a DJ. I don't like this. Not one bit. Let's look around carefully. There has to be something valuable in here. Damn gunners had this place locked down pretty tight. So, this is the treasure. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's almost too funny not to laugh about. Well, that's pretty damn creepy. I bet they had no idea they were being watched. Maybe someone already found the treasure and now they're hoarding it here. And vault Tech built all sorts of secret sections into their vaults. I don't even want to know what this one was for. I can't believe we fell for that. Well, that's a unique water feature. I had a contract in Libertalia once. Raiders were so stupid I was able to bluff my way in. Never imagined we'd find a vault down here. Let's check it out. You'll let me know if your Geiger starts clicking, right? Tunnel snakes rule! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I heard that a long time ago. Well, there goes my appetite. Well, this looks cozy. How about I uh, hang out here while you explore the building? No? Hey, I'm really sorry. We don't have to be here if you don't want to. I... I'll leave you alone. What was this place for? Story time or something? Now all we do is wait a few decades for the rain to refill the quarry, come back and start the process all over again. All right, Strong. It's like it's your turn, my massive, mutated friend. Hancock! That was the coolest ghoul in the Commonwealth. Oh, come on, dog me. You're trying to make me feel guilty for taking your place. Look, pal, if you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. I was wondering how long it would take your blood ounce to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? You finished? Glad to have disappointed you. But I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? I think I've been acting kind of, well, foolishly. I allowed our relationship to fall apart because I couldn't handle how you were doing things. So I've decided that instead of treating you like that, we should just work it out like we always do. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I, I miss being close to you. And I want things to go back to the way they were. All right. I suppose it can wait. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. So that's how it is, huh? For Duncan's sake, I do too. I appreciate the apology, but it's not necessary. No problem. Later's fine. That's what I keep telling myself. You don't? Well, since you're playing stupid, let me help you out. Hearing you say that means the world to me. Look, you've already done so much for me. I feel horrible asking for more. But if you're willing to risk it, I might have a way we could save him. I was hoping you'd say that. Then I'll make this simple for you. Oh, believe me. I know. Well, that's been the problem all along. I'm not falling for that crap again! I've been disappointed so many times in the past, nothing gets my hopes up anymore. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security coats. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Unfortunately... Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. Too busy to give a damn, huh? Fine. Then why are you acting like an... Well, like an ass? 
I was hoping you'd say that. No, you are not going to brush me off this time. That's it? You're going to walk away from me? Fine. Go to hell. Where do I start? No, I can't accept that. There's no way I'd ever give up on him. All I know is that it's some sort of disease and it's eating him away from the inside. If you think your apologies are going to give you a free pass, then you're wrong. Very funny. That's it. You're a dirty liar and I'm done with you. You have some time yet? I'd still like to apologize to you. If you have some time, I'd like to apologize to you. You ready to talk now? I promise it won't take long. Hold up. I think we need to talk. Have you reconsidered helping me find the cure for my son's disease? Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. So, do you have some time to talk now? Hey, you have some time to talk? Like I said before, we need to talk. That's the best you could come up with? Not bad. Not bad at all. Damn, that was amazing. Okay, not sure I like what you're doing. Well, that was stupid. All right, I admit it. I'm impressed. You really shouldn't have done that. That's how I would have handled it. I'm warning you. Don't ever do that again. No way. It's not going to happen. There's no way I'm doing that. Here you go. Here. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Are you seriously going to act like you don't know why I'm pissed off? I guess I'll head back and wait for you. Just be careful. The Commonwealth isn't the safest place to wander alone. I should have stayed in good neighbor. This sucks. Just back away while you still have the chance. Nope. Whatever you're selling, I'm not interested. Maybe I should head back to the Capital Wasteland. There's nothing here for me now. I made a horrible mistake sticking it out with you. Can't believe someone could be so stupid. Maybe. But I think you deserve it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh... I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. And I aim to keep it that way. No. Oh, well, okay then. I mean, it was kind of important, but I guess it can wait until later. I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I never thought of us that way. What about your wife? I, I know she's gone, but you still love her, don't you? M maybe it was for the best. Maybe not. Wrong? No, not at all. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. I suppose you're right. I don't know anymore. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. Do I look like the artistic type to you? Hold up. I think we need to talk. This has been nagging at me for a while. Maybe. I don't know anymore. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Damn, I miss Lucy. You're welcome. I think I've been acting kind of... Well, kind of stupid. I've allowed our friendship to fall apart because I couldn't handle how you were doing things. So I've decided that instead of treating you like that, we should just talk it out like we always do. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I... I want us to go back to the way we were when your friendship meant everything to me. Yeah, I suppose you could say that, but it wasn't really my point. I've done some crazy stunts in my day, but helping out a Deathclaw? That takes the cake. Good God. What a loser. There's no going back from what this guy did. An eye for an eye. Code of the road. If I have to walk down more than a few flights of stairs, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, uh, I think I'll wait out here. No room in the family for Judas's, huh? We'll take care of him. How about yes, sir, and let's go get it done? He just told you that dance is a synth. I don't know, I think we're missing out here. And these guys have access to some serious firepower. Libertalia, huh? Well, if you ever wanted to throw a party for a few dozen raiders, this would be the place. Oh, come on, we're here? Don't tell me you actually believe that buried treasure nonsense. Don't let it bother you. You did the right thing. Don't let it bother you. Keeping him around was much too dangerous. Uh, sniper's nest. I used to set these up myself when I wanted to take my targets out at long range. Well, looks like they found him, though. Yeah, 
And who could blame her? Yeah, and who could blame him? I don't know. You still pretending to be anyone but yourself? This must have been built by the company that made those annoying robots. Hope you guys saved room for dessert! I don't like this one bit. What the hell's all this science junk doing here? No fuchsia with a lime green interior? Damn. They never have them in the color you want. What the heck's with all this science junk? Something isn't right here. I hope all these people had flood insurance. I wonder what would happen if we tinkered with some of these things. The city was in love with the water. There are boats and docks all over the Commonwealth. Whoever lives here must have made a deal with the devil. Well, well. Looks like we stumbled into one of the government's dirty little secrets. I bet we don't even find a single drop in the whole place. Damn shame. Whoa. Looks like it's party time. Whoever hit that bridge with a tugboat needs to learn how to drive. <laughs> you think that's impressive? You should see the one in downtown D.C. Something tells me that hole shouldn't be there. Next thing you know, we're gonna see super mutants wearing sailor hats on their heads. Should I throw a cap in and make a wish? I've heard of this sport. You're supposed to roll a ball down these lanes and knock over those pins. Weird. Never caught a death claw sleeping before. Don't tell me we're going all the way down there. Hey, look! It's today's special. Yum. Lion statues, huh? Great way to scare the kids. Take everything you can carry. But isn't that cute? The mutants think they're in the Navy. A creepy garden. Splendid. Now the nightmare motif is complete. Hey, this place doesn't look too bad. Some paint, a few throw rugs, and it'll be good as new. I'd love to read the real estate brochure for this place. Let's check out the t-shirt stand before we leave, huh? Ooh. <laughs> McCready like Big Boom. Ugh, gross. People actually ate this stuff? Oh, of course the cookie aisle had to be the one that got crushed. Suddenly I just lost my appetite for seafood. I've seen pictures of old stations like this, but never been in one before. Hey, <laughs> I can see my house from here. Sorry, I always wanted to say that. The guy had a good position, but uh, there's no way he could have held us off. All this high-tech equipment, and they still couldn't figure out how stupid it was to push the button. All these books, and not even a single issue of Grognak? Yeah, it's gonna be tough finding anyone who trusts these blood packs. And who knows how long they've been sitting here. I don't suppose they have a spare sentinel bot we could pick up while we're here? Institute turned this place into a slaughterhouse. Didn't leave a soul alive. How did a gang as stupid as the Gunners figure out something so clever? This... It's just about the coolest thing I've ever seen. Wholesale slaughter on the high seas. Would make a great story, wouldn't you say? I'm betting these were put here by those children of Adam. They worship radiation like it was a god or something. Yum. Looks like the Farrells had themselves a little raider feast. Well, this must have been a great place to relax. Before everything went to hell. If I step on something brown and squishy, you're cleaning my boots. It'll be a miracle if this whole building doesn't collapse right on top of us. Brewing robot, huh? Maybe we could just, uh, borrow it for a little while. Gwyneth. Gwyneth, why is that name so familiar? I heard it back in the Capital Wasteland, but I can't remember why. Commonwealth almost looks peaceful from up here. Well, looks like the war bypassed this place. Oh, man, I used to come here all the time. I can't even tell you how many caps this dive sucked out of my pockets. Well, Tommy tried to get me to fight in the ring once. Almost took him up on it, too. I guess I missed my chance. There are enough bombs in this place to start another apocalypse. If I could only find the issue where Master Donald and Skullpocalypse teamed up to fight Grognock, I'd have a complete set. Oh, come on. You replacing me with a dog? <laughs> That's just insulting. 